Hello everyone and welcome to a special, exciting, and impactful episode of Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. My name is Zoe and on set with me today I have... Hello, my name is Pearl and I'm so excited to be with you today because we are going to be reading the Rhapsody and being blessed. We're blessed. Remember, we learned that yesterday. We're not lucky. <laughs> Wow, the Rhapsody is really an amazing book, you know. Every day as we search through the Word to discover more and more, we're being blessed, uplifted, and inspired. It's just so amazing, the Word that our man of God, Pastor Chris, gives us every single day. You know, Pearl? Yes, it is. Because with this book, it's changed the lives of so many people. Many people have had testimonies out of this book. And you can use this book for anything that you want in your life. If you, it might be healing, you want to go to a greater and higher level, anything. Because when you read this book, we have to read it out loud because Pastor Chris said when you're reading it, you're speaking words, you're filling up your clouds, just like we learned last year and we're still doing it this year. And you know, we, I would like to thank our dear man of God, Pastor Chris. Thank you, Pastor, for making this book because this is an inspiring book. It's an impactful and power-packed book. Mm -hmm. And thank you for making this book, Pastor Sir. Wow, Pearl, I just want to thank Pastor so much, you know. This book has really impacted not only the lives of many, but also my personal life, the life of my family, the lives of others. And we are ever so grateful, Pastor. Thank you so much, Pastor, for the time that you've invested into bringing us the Word every single day of the month and of the year. We are truly impacted and I love you so, so dearly. So with that said, stay tuned, stay where you are, enjoy the rest of this video because I'm telling you, you will be, you'll be so happy with yourself that you tuned into this episode because we're going to learn so much today. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Kitty's Rap Tea Dailies, your favorite devotional program. I hope you all enjoyed your break. Now we're going to dive into the Rap Tea of today. So today's title is, What is on your mind? Our opening scripture is taken from Proverbs 4 verse 23. It says, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Pastor goes on to say, what do you think about the most? What thoughts do you fill your mind with? Answering these questions isn't so difficult because they're revealed by your words and actions. The Bible says, for as he thinks in, in, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 verses 7. In other words, you're what you think about the most. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Chris goes on to say, A child will behave exactly the way he thinks. Today's memory verse scripture shows us how to guide our lives in the right direction by thinking the right thoughts. Don't allow just anything in your heart. Rather, let God's word be in your heart and mine, and that's what your life will be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. With that said, we're going to take a short break and we'll come back to discuss what we learned. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies. Today's message is titled, What's on Your Mind? You know, Pearl, after this message, like, there's so many things that have really impacted us from it. Can you kindly share with us a few things that you learned? Thank you, Zoe Frackling. So what I learned from today's message is that um, the thoughts that we're thinking really affect us a lot because what you're thinking is what you're going to do because most of the things that you reason in your head is most of the stuff that you're going to do. And what lead to these thoughts in your head is the things that you're watching, but people that you're with, the things that are being said to you. 
Are you spending your time with the right people? Right, the right people that will influence you to do the right things or people that will influence you to do the wrong things. Make sure that you're with people that will help you to do good things for the Lord, that will help you preach the gospel, not people that will discourage you and tell you wrong things to do. No. Also, also what you're watching. Are you watching godly things? Are you watching things that um, will make you do the wrong thing? Because most people, the reason why they become the people they are today is because of the things they watch. They used to watch bad things. Most people, they play the wrong type of games. They play games with guns and stuff like that. And that's why you see that they're doing wrong things. But you, as a Christian, you watch right the right things. You watch Love Road specials. You you watch um you watch uh, messages on PCDL. You listen and study and meditate on the Word of God. That's what will bring the right thoughts in your head. So make sure that you're lit you're you have the right thoughts in your head make sure that you're thinking the right things make sure how by doing the right things make sure that you're reading your rhapsody each day make sure that you're listening to the word of god these things are very important especially in these last days you can't be joking with your life because god's coming soon and you have to get ready for him so zobie that's what I learned, and I would like to know what you learned. Thank you for asking, Pro. You know, the Rhapsody talked to us, what's on your mind? And like Pro was saying, what are the things that you watch, the people that you live, um, the people that you talk to? Your environment is a big impact. What goes into your ears, what you hear every single day, those are the things that impact on what you think. So if you're thinking about those things, it's because of your friends. So listen, this is a new year. This is 2023. If you you've heard this message and you're realizing that oh look the things in your mind if you realize the things that you're thinking of now it's not too late to change it like pro said the rapture is coming soon so you have to change your mindset this year meaning if it it's your spirit of contact you must change your spirit of contact if it is the friends that you hang out with the things that you watch you must stop it this year you must change yourself you have to be different because remember we have to be ready for the Lord. We have to be ready to show Him because you don't want to end up like those that watch or do the wrong things. You want to do the right things. Instead of people influencing you, you must influence them. They influence you to do wrong things. You influence them to do good things. That is how we're supposed to act. So remember, if you need to change your sphere of contact, do it. I'm telling you, it's for the greater good. You'll see that your life will be from one level of glory to another. And things will be from glory to glory, victory to victory, success to success. And you'll only see your life going upward and forward only. There's some people that, oh, they start out great, but they see their self going down like that. Why? because of their friends, because of the things that they hear, the things that they think about. So remember, your words are also powerful. This year, spend time to speak the right things, speak words into your life, and you'll see a great impact and change this year. So Pearl, that's what I learned today. Wow, Zoe, that was so impactful. And with that said, stay tuned, and we'll be right back to take our confession and further study scripture. Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies. Today is let's just titled, What's on Your Mind? Let's take our confession. Remember, our words are very powerful and whatever we say will come to pass. So let's speak the right words. Say this, the words of God, the word of God is in my heart, is in my heart and mouth and mouth. I meditate on it. I meditate on it every day every day and i confess it and i confess it everywhere everywhere hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord now we're gonna take our further study scripture kindly open philippians 4 verses 8 tlb because pastor wants us to read it in this version so i know it's going to be impactful it says and now brothers as i close this letter let me say one more thing Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. 
Think about things that are pure and lovely and dwell on the fine, good things in others. Think about all you can praise God for and be glad about. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Did you hear that? It said, fix your thoughts on what is true, good, and right. Meaning, change your thoughts. Fix it. You're repairing your thoughts on what and think by thinking about what is true, good, and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely. These are um, demonstrations. These are things that we're supposed to be thinking about. And it says, think about all that you can praise God for. Meaning, last year, 2022, every single thing that God, every single miracle, every single thing that God has done for you, testimony, think about it. Fill your mind with it and fill your mind with things that you can do this year, 2023. Wow, that's just such an amazing scripture. Yes, indeed, Zoe. And remember, always think about the right things. Don't think about what worldly people or carnal people are thinking. Think about the things of God. Think of what you can do more for Him. That's what you should be thinking of. With that said, keep shining with Rhapsody. We love you.